Now, life as a student can be extremely busy and overwhelming. You know, there's projects, and if you play a sport or you join a club, there might be very little time for a personal life outside of school, you know, or maybe if you work or have other activities. Well, to help us get a little more insight on this issue, we are joined by award-winning teacher and best-selling author Douglas Haddad and student Lily Payton. Good morning. Good morning. We're so excited to have you guys both here. It's great to be here. Yeah, this is definitely an important topic. I remember from my days back in, the, in school, mm -hmm. um, I definitely kept a jam-packed schedule between school and then my part-time job um, after work as a high school student. Now, uh, Doug, you've been teaching for more than 20 years, right? Yes, 24 years. 24 years. Congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you so much. What are some of the shifts that you've noticed in your students over the years? Well, if you look at society today, Symphony, in terms of versus 20 plus years ago, there have been all these shifts societally, technologically, educationally. And one of the biggest ones I've seen is the technological integration, where students these days are technologically technologically savvy. I mean, they utilize their digital devices mm -hmm. like no other. They, for learning and communication, which in some ways the learning has become more accessible. It's become more engaging for them, more collaborative. But in other ways, they're getting involved in non-education related things like social media, texting their friends, gaming, all these things. And we know from research that the constant exposure of all this technology doesn't just limit the um, amount of you know distractibility. They're actually more distracted. Their reduced amount of screen time would be good for them, yeah. but there's fatigue. I see it personally as a science teacher where they don't want to dig as deep into tasks and that are complex. They think they can get the answers at their fingertips right mm -hmm. away. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely like a, a big difference from like back in my day, we had to go look it up in a book. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, versus hopping on the internet. Now, Lily, you were in the seventh grade, right? Mm -hmm. Now, describe for us uh, what a typical day or week may look like for you with all the activities you have going on. Um, so it can be really stressful with all the homework we have and having after school activities and sports. So it's really you have to time manage to make sure that you're getting the work done before you're doing things like hanging out with your friends or like watching TV. So I think it can be hard to like manage, but you really have to like make sure you're using your time wisely yeah. to get all that work done so it's not stressful. Yeah. What do you think some of the biggest issues are that you know you and your peers face? Um, I think just like having a lot of homework on the same day as an after school sport or activity. Mm -hmm. So you really have to like time manage and make sure that you're getting it done before you like hang out with your friends. Yeah. Or like you get study halls and make sure that you're using that time wisely so you don't have to do it late at night. Yes, because you know you guys need your rest so you can wake up mm -hmm. and be ready to tackle a new day at school. Uh, well, Mr. Haddad, uh, what advice do you have for families to help their students deal with this? Well, I think Lily hit it right in the head. You have to be able to time manage appropriately. And I can tell you one thing, our district has what they call the vision of the graduate. And really there's five pillars that are foundational for workforce success. And we try to prepare our students for those. One thing is communication, right, Lily? I talk all about the importance mm -hmm. of not just writing, but being able to speak and being able to do it individually in small groups, large groups, mm -hmm. being a collaborator, always encouraging team, being a team player. As you know, yeah. Symphony, you can't work in isolation and be successful. Yep. Uh, being an innovator, with AI out there, I've seen that segment, that becomes a little more challenging, but original thinking will be paramount to real world success. Yes. Um, and then also being a self-directed learner. That's one thing I would definitely encourage time management, um, goal setting, being able to um, really orient appropriately, and then being a good critical thinker. That's one thing that's so key. Taking the knowledge you have, applying it to real world settings, being a global citizen, as I saw in the previous segment, and then being able to realize, Lily, you can have a profound impact in all the students out there um, on your community and the world at large. Absolutely. Yeah, so. Definitely some helpful information. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, really quickly before we head out, Lily, what are your plans for the future? Do you want to go to college? Yeah. Do you know where? I don't know yet. Okay. Maybe a place in Florida so it's warm. Yes. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. Do you know what you want to study? I'm not sure yet. Okay. You, you have time. Yeah. You have time to figure it out. Yeah. But thank you guys for joining us. And we're going to check.